All right. Um, nose goes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, oh, 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 man. All right. <laughs> All right. Here goes All right. Uh, that would be good. Um, I'd say like Slim Jesus, like that white kid rapper. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that guy's awesome. No, it's, um, DJ Fred. DJ Fred, whatever was it? Uh, 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 Krispy Kreme? Like, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Krispy Kreme. No, no, no. it, it would either have to be Slim Jesus or like Stitches or something. No, it yeah. serious, man. <laughs> oh, sorry, fine, serious. Um, Oh man, this is hard. I can't. I can't be serious. Come back. Yeah, come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. Okay, so so if we could have a dream tour, uh, personally, Slipknot would one hundred percent for fact be on there. Oh yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I second that. Yes, yeah. Slipknot, and uh, uh, I I I really wish that I could have a perfect circle on there too. Oh, it'd be uh, nice. Yeah, cool. ha- ha- having them on there would be awesome, and um. Uh, it 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 seems like it would be really fun to play with Wednesday Thirteen, and yes. uh, yeah, that would be cool. There'd be a lot of drinking, and also <laughs> there's this band. Subtle, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there would be. <laughs> and and I would also personally want want to play with this band called King Eight Eight Ten. Oh yeah, I would yeah, second that, King Eight Ten as well. That'd that band is awesome. Yeah, they're they're pretty fun. tight. I mean, I'm feeling like Slipknot. Corn, uh, corn, oh, corn. Him. How could I him? Corn. So if we could do Slipknot, Corn, him, and then maybe like Wild Card. Who's weird? King Eight Ten would be good, but like I'd want somebody like a little bit, you know, like they're pretty similar. So I kind of maybe. Uh, yeah, this moment would be pretty tight. That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Nine Inch Nails. Nine Inch. Well, that would that would change up the tier a little bit. Well, but yeah, still, still but yeah. Nine, Nine Inch Nails. That would be dope. Awesome. Oh, um, that would be really cool. sorry. That would be a really cool, cool tour. Um, as far as like you know, bands that are a little bit more obtainable, um, you know, in the perhaps hopeful relative future, um, you know, Wednesday Thirteen, I'd love to tour with him. Uh, there's some other people. It would be cool to Black uh, Dahlia Murder. Black Dahlia yeah, Murder. Yeah. Be cool. It would, be it, would, it would honestly also be cool to. Metallica. Oh God, yes, Metallica. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's pretty much a game. Even if it was like I, I an opener four hours before they played, like yeah, I would still just be like the happiest person in my life. I, I think I think we're Metallica. past four at this point. I think we're like having a festival right now. Ah. <laughs> festivals are good. Festivals are very good. <laughs> you know, they should just pay us to make concerts that we don't play it, and that's actually how we'll get involved in this. <laughs> yeah, I I I I like Ghost. Oh, Ghost, Ghost, Ghost yeah, yeah, that oh, that would be the wild card. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the wild card Ghost right there. Ghost would be the opener, and then it would be Slipknot, Corn, and him. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh. Oh man, I just got a musical. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Side stage, Side stage, King Eight Ten. Favorite touring <laughs> bands right now. King Eight Ten's um, definitely one of them for me and Stacy. Mm-hmm. And me and, and Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, Escape the Fate would be awesome as well. With, you know. Yeah, that would be really cool. I love those, those guys were my idols, like growing up too. Archangel of Fest. Archangel. <laughs> See, so it's already in the works. We need to come uh, up with something witty. Uh, the master said mean, the master sadness tour. The master <laughs> sadness. <laughs> yes, master <laughs> sadness. Yo, man, you brother, you're coming out to the Master Sadness Tour. <laughs> or like the radio ad, you know, for like, Coming now to Amphitheater near you. Sunday, Sunday. Master Sadness <laughs> Tour. It's real. <laughs> you know who, who else is good that is, that is, I guess, a little bit more obscure? William Control. Yeah, William, William Control. Control. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, William I can actually. I, I wouldn't see the connection, but I, I kind of do. I think yeah. that would. Also, there's a band out there called Red Sun Rising. Uh, they're kind of an alternative band, but they've they're they're the best one that I've seen in, in a long time. Nothing more is also really good. Nothing, Nothing more. more is a yeah. band I've been jamming a lot. Like they have this like relatively pretty heavy instrumental for a hard rock band, and they have very powerful vocals. Yeah. And I mean, like those are my favorite vocals. And while I don't necessarily have have the, nice, that's a great thing to do. Yep, clap. Good. Stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's permanent. That's great. Okay, can we take that out? Anyway. Dude, I just lost my thought. That, 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 that was, was a good voice. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was like, it, felt, it was clean. It. Like, it had some resonance to it. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed. Oh, man. <laughs> Could you ask a question again? I do apologize. <laughs> 
Here, I'm going to switch the gears on you. Um, I really tried, man. What you got to know. <laughs> We're going to keep the laughter running for a second because Kelly's asking, how do magnets work? Dude, that, that, oh, man. Well, by the way, that's so what so negative on. ions, right? So you see the magnets have a magnetic field, you know, I'm like, sorry. like, you know what I'm saying, you know, and so if you put them down on a table and then you just have a bunch of like, like iron shards just laying around, you can put them next to them and they'll form this like rainbow type of thing. And it's really cool. And that's how magnets work. No, but you know what? Let, let me tell you, like, sometimes there, like no you, you, okay. you got to make no, sure that like the magnets get along, you know what I'm saying? Like they really connect well, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, like, so, like, okay. sometimes you get two magnets that just don't like each other and just, like, pushing each other away real hard, you know? Like, yes. so, like, you just got to make sure that the vibe is great. So some magnets are born <laughs> with right. boy parts and other magnets are born with girl parts. Oh, yeah. And they just, girl parts. Yeah. They can just figure it out. Dude, that's, wait. What, that's how magnets work. Why the hell yeah. don't we teach science? Yeah. Dude, let's make science. Let's make Dude, metal I'm, songs about dude, science. Look, you know, you know those, um, those, like, uh, have warp so, stores. Uh, you know, like, core. Bill Nicole. You know how Hell like bands yeah. will do like their their like classes and stuff. You know how to how to oh, make yeah, the yeah, music yeah. industry. But yeah. well, Archangela teaches science. Yeah. All right, Sean just gave you a flip side to that same question. Um, how do, since we know how magnets work, how do magnets get laid off? Well, when a magnet <laughs> just stops, connecting, you know, it just decides that it's done being a magnet and wants to be a rock again. No, I'm, I'm tired of this life. I need. That guy's hard. All right. Anyway. Oh, all right. Man, yeah. Man. It's dark out of nowhere. Whoa. Well, what dark? I think it's kind of dark. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry oh, that damn. your magnet lost the job. I mean, you can. I, I can be a reference to that magnet. Like, yo, give me a call. Yo, it worked pretty well. Make so, magnets great again. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll put that's that on a slogan I can get behind. <laughs> that's great. You know what? That, that, that's a great call. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sean had a question also. I don't know if you guys answered this or not. What is yeah, your favorite... Huh? Oh, no, go ahead. I thought you were talking about... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not, not the, about the magnets. You guys are crazy <laughs> about the magnets. What is your favorite oh, touring bands now? Right now. Mm. Right now. Besides like, you guys. Right now? Oh, yeah. um, like, nothing more. Set personal did the... the they're they're pretty awesome and they're they're really active and and they're all self produced. They do uh, all of their stuff themselves and it's just so cool to see. So yeah, that's my take. Mm. King eight ten. Yeah. King eight ten. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to say Slipknot. Like they, Slipknot they have an incredible live show. I cried like when they played Summer <laughs> Summer Slaughter. What was it like Summer Slaughter Fest? Yeah, that was a yeah. Pretty, that was a really that good was, show. Yeah, that, that was, was that, that was, was like that was the first show. time I heard or ever heard like Corey Taylor sing like clean live. When, he, when they played Vermilion, and like I, I cried a little bit. It, it was exactly what like seven year old Lewis would have imagined it to be. So that's, it was cool. Well, Snuff cool. is one of my favorite Slipknot songs of all time, and it's that's just like amazing that it's yeah. so not Slipknot, but it is at the same time. Yeah. That is the only Slipknot song that my mom will, 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 will listen to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, dude, I heard my mom listening to Duality. Really? Oh, She's that's like, awesome. I like this song. I'm like, you know who this is? I was like, you know who this is, right? Because, like, I remember when I was a kid, they were like, hey, no, you can't listen to this Slipknot band. They're super bad, you know? That's what what my parents told me. But then later on, a few years later, she's listening to Duality on the radio. Yeah, I love this band. They're awesome. But I tell her, hey, you know this is Slipknot, right? And look on her face, (laughs) was priceless. No way. Absolutely (laughs) priceless. No, I'm not not even dead. Oh, my God. (laughs) All right. Hang on, I got I to gotta take us uh, my little top of the hour break, so don't go away. Sean has another question, and then we'll get into your guys' very last song to talk about, too. So be right back okay. about, uh, about about one minute, so don't go away, guys. Bowie. Just saying. Woohoo! Let's talk about the music is starting. What is Let's Talk About the Music, and why are you so excited about it? It's a podcast with controversial talk and a global mix of music. Oh, cool. How and where can I listen? Just go to letstalkaboutthemusic.com and click follow to be sure to get all the info about the bands that are playing and see their music videos. Then click on Spreaker or iTunes to listen live and even chat with other listeners and the host herself. What day and time is Let's Talk About the Music on? Every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. to midnight Pacific Standard Time. I think I'll tune in. Thanks for the info.
Listen in May 18th to Let's Talk About the Music when the podcast will be all blues all night with special guest blues musician Johnny Searfoss. It's all happening from 8 to midnight right here on Let's Talk About the Music, babies. And we're back. Like I said, this is like a little bit of a break there. And uh, Sean was asking questions in the chat room. Oh, Sean, 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 Sean. Oh. <laughs> Darn it, Sean. Okay, so who would you be the best get into session with your band? What, what, is, what does that mean? Would you be able to rephrase the question? What would you be the best get to session with your band? I'd like to buy a bowl. <laughs> yeah, I, like the best, uh, like the best separate musician, like from from any other band that like would come in and maybe play oh, uh, on. Hobson, yo, we, we <laughs> talked about this so many up. times. What <laughs> Hobson, like uh, the rapper? Oh my god! Yeah, we've actually like that's something that you know we don't incorporate rap, nor do we plan to very often the music at all. But there's really something about what he's saying in specific that you know we really we really appreciate and resonates with the band. That would be really cool. Um, uh, I would love to have Jeff Loomis shred yeah. a ripping solo over one of our songs. Jeff Loomis is <laughs> one of my favorite lead guitar players by far. Uh, I I don't want to say Jordan Root is because he'll because he'll just make make me look bad. <laughs> 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 so. But I mean, like you get to like hang out with one of your idols, the only idol. That would be awesome. I just wish that I could hang out with them at like his studio and just be like, all right, so what we need to actually do is instead of, se- we'll just commission out the whole band to be these people. So we're going to have Jordan Rudis on keys. We're going to have, okay, who, 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 we're going to remake the band. Okay. So we're going to hire, we're going to hire. All, all you guys band. are fired. Okay, we're firing okay, right, ourselves right, for the better we, are, we should pick our replacements. Okay, we should play. pick our replacements. Yeah, okay. all right, everybody all goes right. in a circle. All right, Ooh. Ryan, go first. We'll just go in a circle. It's tough. I'd have to say... Yeah. Oh, man, man, that's that's a hard one. Steven Tyler. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is, it the mom, is it the mom bun I always do? I'm no, dude. Mom, be honest. Dude, Steven Tyler is just a boss, though. Like, like yeah, he, he is. He is. He is. He is an awesome. He, he is an awesome. If if I could be a Steven Tyler Hetfield, that'd be pretty cool. So we're gonna have him for the little bit that we have left, and it's just gonna be a lot better than I could ever do. I'll uh, be an accountant afterward. I. <laughs> I would I, I would definitely have Jordan Brutus, but dressed up as Pogo. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, that is just, well, there. the old Pogo or the Pogo now that's still pissed about not being in the band anymore. <laughs> <laughs> old, oh, dude, that's old, so no, old the Pogo. new Pogo, the new Pogo. We would just okay. spice it up. With this. <laughs> so much angst. Dude. <laughs> 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 He's stupid at home. See, yeah, I'm just thinking of all these different drummers. I'm thinking of like crazy hardcore drummers. We need to have like the most death metal drummer possible. I'd probably be really throw off the sound. I, I'd be like, all right, well, I'm fired, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hire Aaron Kitcher of Infinite Annihilator. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's <laughs> good. Not, like, dude, that, that guy is so fast. Ridiculous. He's also a drummer of Black Tongue. Yeah, he he I murders like that style. drum kit for breakfast. What about you? Give me Nikki Six. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a combination. A combination. Oh, a combination. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, hear me out. Hear me out. Twiggy, please. Twiggy. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like one of those names that those girls are online. Yeah. You get like all those friend requests. Like, yeah, my name is Ashley Ramirez Twiggy. Ashley and it's like what? Yeah, you know, like, like I just really love bands. It's like, <laughs> do you have a last name? <laughs> She's got Ricky Bobby syndrome, all first names. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, that's not a bad call, though. Ricky Bobby has a ring to it, so I think I might actually replace my last name with a... <laughs> Shake and take. Drink and break. No, um, so it'd be Ryan... Give me, uh, uh, give my... me a first name. Uh, what, Rondo I can't, I can't with... Rondo Botch? No, that, that, that doesn't make no. any sense. <laughs> Who would you... Like my replacement? Um, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Man, this is tough. Uh, it's on you now. It would either have to be like Angel Vivaldi. Uh, first time I actually said his last name right. He said it right. Dude, yeah. yes. It's been- <laughs>